What's going on, Drone Scouts? Well, today, I got my son, Sean. What's up, guys? And, uh, I told you... Ah, balls. <laughs> What's going on, Drone Scouts? Well, today, I got my son, Sean. What's up, guys? Uh, last video I did uh, when he was in, I asked people to comment below, let me know if they wanted Sean in or not. So, hopefully, he's back. Yeah, whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah, whether you like it or not. Um, we're going to try to do a video every Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, just talk about the news and just things that are going on in the industry, any uh, projections and stuff like that. Um, I also want to get a couple guests coming on here every once in a while. Yeah. I want to uh, contact Build a Drone Reviewer, uh, Original Dobo, Billy Kyle, see if they'll come on. Hopefully. Um, spice it up a little bit. Yeah. Well, are you already spicing it up? Yeah, that's true. So, before we go any further, if you just landed on this channel, and if you like the content, subscribe. Turn the bell icon notification on so you'll get notifications when I come out with future videos. And hit the like button. And don't forget to comment below and tell me what you feel, uh, what you like about it. Yeah. What do you want to see in the future as well? Yeah, exactly. So now the big news would be from DJI. Yeah, yep. Now you've seen their slogan. What was it again? I forget what it was, but the picture of some guy or girl doing like a pose and it looked like it was underwater. Yeah. So, and they haven't really said anything else. No. It was a release your other side. Yeah, release your other side. Unleash the other yeah, side. Yeah, so. yeah. Now, what are your thoughts? What do you think it's going to be? Well, I'm just speculating, but it, it looks like it could be a underwater drone, which I think it might be. Yeah. I think myself it'll probably be a sports camera. I think they want to compete with the GoPro. Yeah. And uh, they have these Yee lights that are uh, go, like GoPro style, and let's face it, and I'm sure if they come out with an action camera, it'll probably be compatible with GoPro accessories, yeah. which would be smart on DJI. Yeah, really smart move. Yeah. I mean, they have the technology for the camera, so that's a, it's a really good good idea. I mean, you see the cameras on the drones. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, think, I think they could compete with GoPro. I, I think so, I mean, DJI's got the market basically cornered yeah. on, on the drones. So they probably want to branch out. Yeah, I, I think right. so. And, and you know what, I I really wish like Autel, they have the Evo. Uh, X-Dynamics, who's, who's had an Evolve drone mm -hmm. a couple years ago, that came out with it. But yeah. at CES uh, this year, I think it came back and it surged yeah. with guys like uh, Original Dobo, doing a review and Billy Kyle, mm. and I know their reviews, reviews aren't done yet, but I think it, it sparked more interest Gorgeous. back in yeah. the X, X Dynamics because of what's involved. But getting back to the uh, 15th, I think it's gonna be under, uh, maybe not underwater camera, but a camera that's waterproof that can go underwater. Yeah, um, makes sense. Yeah. I think if it's a uh, underwater drone submersible, it would be good, but I think we'd only target a, a yeah. certain margin. Like people, people that might live in Florida or somewhere else that has water, bodies of water that are clear. Because, you know, in Jersey, we have the beach and a bunch of lakes and rivers, but it's like murky. So, yeah. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be too smart. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I can't say us really used it in Jersey. Yeah, yeah. Going through the Delaware River. Yeah, I don't think it's submersible. <laughs> you, you wouldn't be able to see anything, yeah. really. Yeah. Unless you're like maybe two foot away from the shore. Yeah. You know, and it wouldn't even be worth it. Now, because. It might, it might be fun for about 20 minutes and then. Yeah, and, and I see like, you know, with the EPA and all that stuff, I mean, in the, over the past 20 years, the, the shore has gotten cleaner. Yeah. And you can see when you start going out, maybe to your knees going up to your hip and then after that you really can't see nothing yeah. now I know uh, there's a uh, Rick Smith from Drone Valley okay. uh, he put out a tweet saying that on the 15th he's going to do a, a review at 10 a.m. Okay. now the launch for this new product is, is at 9 a.m. so 
So. so I think maybe he has the product, has been testing the product, and is going to do a review over it. Mm -hmm. Now, I know he lives close to lakes and stuff like that, so it might do well for him up, up yeah. there. But for us down here, I don't think it'll do well. And you know, if you don't know who uh, Drone Valley is, Rick Smith, great guys, got great content, very informative. Uh, go check him out and subscribe to his channel. And for that matter, subscribe to Original Dovo and Billy Kyle. Also, Build a Drone Reviewer. Uh, Build a Drone Reviewer has always given me kudos and stuff like that when he does streams every week. So I want to make sure I gave him a shout out on this as well. Which reminds me, they're going to stream the launch. So whatever it is, there'll be a live stream at 9 a.m. Starting at 9 a.m. Oh yeah, that's right. And so you, you'll be able to watch it. I'll be at work. Oh yeah, I gotta. I don't go to work till four o'clock. Yeah. yeah. So. so I'll be able to text you and tell you <laughs> what it is. So we'll, we'll see what it is. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't want to speculate too much because I know a lot of people don't really want to keep hearing what it is and all that. You know, if it was going to be a drone and all that stuff like that. Look, I ain't gonna keep bashing about not having the Phantom Five yet. Yeah. I know it's coming. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> so it's I'm happy to wait yeah. because I love my Phantom Four. And the Power Bebop suit me just fine. And Which one did I fly? You flew the Phantom 4. Okay. And I, I like that one. That was my first time flying and it felt like, it felt like an Xbox controller. Really. Yeah. So. And you know what? I mean, even some of the old ones, the Mavic Air, Mavic Pro, they're, they're still good. I mean, I personally, I would rather have the OcuSync as versus the light bridge, bridge like that. Yeah, the, the Phantom 4 Pro is the light bridge. And you see the all the HD yeah. transmission problems it had. Um, but you know what? Leave leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought or what you think that DJ is gonna come out with. Uh, DJI is gonna come out with. I think with it's on the order drone, an action camera, or something entirely different. Yeah. So if you want to see Sean in more videos, make sure you comment below as well with that. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, you want that big <laughs> thumb. He wants you to like it a lot. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, we'll wrap it up and I'll tell you what, we'll do another uh, show. Next Friday? Next Friday, yeah. because the DJI would launch whatever yeah, product it is. We could talk about it. Yeah, we could talk about it a little bit because we're not fortunate enough to get an NDA and yeah. have the product beforehand. Or not yet at least. Not Yeah, that's right, not yet at least. Hopefully by next year <laughs> we'll have it. But that's going to wrap it up for today. So until next time. Peace out, Trans Scouts.